what's up everybody welcome back to the channel and today we're in a 2014 ford escape and i want to show you what it is doing it seems to be a common problem on these see the gauge cluster uh lcd Let's see how it is right there it isn't working so we got a whole new cluster but i'm going to try to just change out the lcd i have seen where people have done that we're going to try to do it on this so we're going to take the cluster out then we're going to take it apart and we're going to try to uh, disconnect just lcd so we can keep the correct mileage on here so first thing we're going to do i'm going to turn this back off is so apparently this little piece right here should pull back and then I don't know how this comes out oh, just pops up it's got these little pop clips right here Let's see if i can get y'all a better angle see these little pop clips they just pull up and pop out so after we do that it looks like we got two screws down here they look to be looks like seven or eight millimeters actually and everything I saw said they were Torx I did not bring any sockets with me so I may have to run back and go get my sockets real quick and then we'll continue on to this because I thought everything was Torx bits well I'll bring y'all back once I have my correct sockets okay luckily the customer I'm at their house and they had one and I know them personally so they had a socket set so these are seven millimeters took both of them out and now if I remember correctly it should pop out so it's just awkward doing it one handed there it goes there we go then on the back we have one connector, it's like a little swipe connector. There we go. Pulled it out now. Let me show you this connector. That sure connector, like I said, it's just one of those swipe connectors. You push this little tab down and then you fold that little clip. Now I'm gonna have to take something off the bottom right here because I did drop one of the screws down inside of this little area right there now we're going to see if we can do this to this one first we're going to probably pull it apart and see if i can take the lcd screen off of this so i'm going to take you to my car real quick and then we'll see if we can do that here's the used one i'm going to plug it up first actually just to make sure that it works I can show you a little bit better right here how this clip works. Once I just cut it, you push down that little tab, pull that back, and it comes out. So, we'll make sure that this works before I even take it apart because that's the biggest thing you want to worry about. Okay, I got it connected now. Let's make sure it works. Yeah, see this one has 105, 529 miles on it, but everything works on it. So let's see if we can clear everything, like pull it all apart and get this LCD screen out and put it in the other one. So we have the exact mileage and the correct mileage on it. Cause I can't remember how much is on the other one. All right, so there should be four screws or Torx bits and they are a T15 on how we have to see. Pull them out, that's what they look like. Flip it over. I'm gonna try to set y'all up a little bit better. I'm doing this on the back seat of my car. Okay, we took the cover off. The way you do this is there's these little clips right here. And they attach to these points. Pull that up. And this will come off. And then it looks like this screen is just held in. Right there. And 
Uh, may have to take the back off too. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna take the back of it off because looks like it goes through. Now there's some tabs up in here. We're gonna have to pull loose. Let me grab a screwdriver. Yeah, we'll pick pop it up. There's one. And two. Alright, there we go. This right here is what you're going to have to flip up. So just be careful. Flip it up. It should come right out. And there you go. There's your LCD screen out. Now I'm going to go get the other one and do the same thing. And then we're going to insert it back in here and try it out. All right. I got the new one in. Now I just got to line it up, make sure it goes in right. Just be careful when you're doing it, make sure. All right, and snap down. I know you may not have seen much of that, but you're just gonna pull it out a little bit, slide it in, and then push that black tab down. Now we can start putting everything back together on this. And that snapped in. And actually, I got some brand new shop towels right here. My wife just picked them up for me at Sam's Club. Those are cheaper there. You buy the whole pack. I'm going to wipe this screen off while I can because it is a little dingy. Come on. I just need a little piece anyway. That way it's clean for the customer. <clears throat> Just don't press down on it real hard. Put this back on. There we go. And I'll put the screen back on. Flip it over and put the screws back in it. <clears throat> Alright, I'm just going to put all these screws back in. And whenever I get ready to install it, we'll bring y'all back and show me putting everything back together. Okay, I got it just kind of plugged up sitting here. I want to make sure that it works. <clears throat> Yep, see this one had a little bit more miles, 106, 262. We could have used it. It would show a little bit lower miles, but I like to keep it where they are the same miles. So we're going to turn it back off, and now we can stick it back in. I'm going to kind of set y'all up a little bit better so y'all can watch it. Put this back in. Snap down. Got both the screws, like I said, they are seven millimeters. Line up. I'm gonna start both of them before I even tighten down one of them. Where did I put the seven millimeter? There we go. I'm gonna use like a couple sockets in the steel lost one. So you don't have to tighten these down a whole lot. Uh, it's just holding this cluster in. I'd say just a few foot pounds. No eight or nine foot bounds pretty much just like you would like a plastic valve cover 
I'll just kind of the way I typically do stuff like this is run it down with my hands and then that way it's just kind of seated in then I go about another half a turn maybe full turn depending on what it feels like yeah that one needed about another full turn same with that one now we can put this piece back in set it down in here find the clips i will bring y'all around see if y'all can see it a little bit better it's got these little notches right there now it's a little dark snap them down in there uh, there it goes and now we can move the steel wheel back move it up a little bit and test her one more time before we say she is good to go. <clears throat> well, we seem to be good on this. She got her cluster working again and you can hear the rear windshield wiper going I gotta turn it off but you can see her instrument cluster and everything's working the way it should and she's got her LCD screen back so we should be good on that one so if y'all enjoyed the video got any questions comments concerns leave them in the comment section uh, hit the like subscribe notification bell if you would uh, it does help out the channel I have the Patreon, I have you know, Instagram, stuff like that. And uh, if y'all are interested in any of my apparel, let me know. I will uh, get that out to you too. And like always, torque this tight and y'all have a great day.